today I'm going to do a review of the Low Pro X200 uh, carry-on case. This is a um, review where I'm not in front of the camera. I think it's more important for you to see the actual bag. So uh, I've got the camera tray on it. I'll just be, you'll see my hands popping in and out as I'm describing the bag. So essentially this is the largest size carry-on bag for photo gear that uh, Low Pro makes. They do make larger bags, but they're not gonna be carry-on size. So what you're looking at right now is the bag standing on a built-in stand, which tilts it at a, um, about a 45 degree angle or so. And uh, right away you can see a couple of external features. So it has a, um, a tripod adapter or holder, which you can see in the front of the bag. I'm just gonna walk over to that side and point it out right here so you put the feet of the tripod in there going straight up and down this is a strap that can be moved from the side to the top that'll secure the top of the tripod alternatively that same uh, foot holder for the tripod can actually be taken out it's just velcros on and uh, it'll actually it'll go right there I'm not going to bother Velcroing on, but just so you see it, it'll go right there. So I will leave that down and then um, show you some of the other features of the tripod or uh, of the bag itself. So um, first of all, let me spin it around a little bit. So you can see the stand. The stand is right here and that just kicks out from the back. Velcro holds in place when it's not in use, but um, it's pretty handy for uh, when you don't want to just lay your bag flat down on the ground. Just kind of use the kickstand. Uh, turn it around, get the kickstand out. There we go. Uh, so right now you can see another feature of this bag is this built-in locking mechanism. So there's a steel cable that comes out. Um, let me see. I'm going to need two hands for that. There we go. So that comes out, goes through all the zippers, and then locks back in place. Now, uh, this cable, uh, it's not super thick, right? It's not going to stop anybody if they really want to get into your bag. But it will discourage somebody that might have thought about just unzipping the bag, grabbing a lens, and then uh, zipping it back up. This way, you are uh, you're at least have a little bit of protection. Let me retract it back in. And it's got a TSA symbol on there, which means that the good folks at TSA, instead of just snipping your cable, if they want to look inside your bag, uh, they can actually get in the bag. Uh, it's got one of the TSA approved locks. So that's on this side. There's one more thing that's on this side that I want to show, which is this other zipper. So this zipper will let you separate the hard polycarbonate shell of the carry-on from uh, the soft padded guts on the inside. And actually the entire unit with uh, everything that you have in the bag can pop out of the uh, carry-on or out of, out of the hard shell. And then it has uh, backpack straps. So you can carry that um, as a backpack. Uh, although I will say it's not particularly comfortable. If you have a real backpack photo bag, you're definitely gonna wanna use that. This is sort of an emergency last ditch measure. But it's at least nice to know that it's there in case you do need it. Uh, let me show you the stand the back up. <clears throat> like most carry-ons, it does have a pop-out handle. Pops right out of the frame, so I'm going to tilt it. Um, one unique feature on this is uh, right here. It has a screw mount so that you can actually use the bag as a tripod or because it is somewhat flimsy, probably more likely a flash stand. And I've done this quite a few times. It comes with an adapter that converts this screw hole uh, into something you can actually mount a, uh, a flash on. Put this back in. All right. And of course that zips up so it doesn't break off. Uh, front of the bag, fairly straightforward. One downside to this bag compared to some of the competitors. Um, this is what Low Pro refers to as the laptop pocket. So it's right up front, which means it's really easy to get to, which is a good thing. However, it's right up front and it's very easy to break 
uh, because it is right up front and that's a big downside. So it will fit up to a 17 inch MacBook Pro, I know because that's why I put it in there, but the only time I'll ever put the laptop in there is if it's going to be in my car. <laughs> so uh, if I don't want to bring the whole laptop bag, I'll just carry this bag, then I'll, I'll put the laptop in there. Otherwise, um, don't bother using that for a laptop. Certainly not on any flights. I would not trust that. Uh, the laptop will take the brunt of the damage and, and if the bag falls or somebody bumps into it or somebody puts something else on top of the bag. Has an extra pocket down here. So just use that mostly for release forms, other paperwork, things that, you know, I don't really care if, if they get bent or, at all or not. Um, what I do carry in this pocket though is a, a uh, water uh, rain uh, jacket essentially for the camera. Let me step that back in. And that fits in there nicely and I don't obviously care if that gets bent at all. There we go. Lift that back up. So let me open up the case, show you what the insides look like. Wheel it back in frame here. There you go. Uh, so essentially, uh, lots of room for everything. Take the camera strap out. There we go. Uh, you can see where the camera goes. I, I shoot with a 7D uh, with the battery pack. So it's a full-size camera. I've got the uh, pocket wizard adapter on top. Don't have to take it off to put it in the bag. Everything fits exactly as is. Uh, I've got the uh, Canon 70 to 300 or uh, 70 to 200 rather. Uh, 2.8 Mark II lens in there that fits in the bag perfectly. Um, let's see what else here. So flashes have two flash units. Pocket Wizards, uh, the uh, TT5s that go along with the flashes. Pocket Wizard adapters for strobe units, some duct tape. Little grab bag for uh, miscellaneous cables. So various stuff that I might need for uh, shooting with strobes. Uh, battery grab bag, get all that. It, by the way, it comes with these. Um, have the Canon 1022 lens right there. Uh, some light modifiers in here. Uh, light meter fits in there nicely, very padded. Um, external power source for uh, one of the flashes, in case I'm doing fast strobe shooting with the, uh, the 580. And then on the other side, I've got um, just sort of flat things, right? So I've got a 20-foot USB cable for doing tethered shooting. Let me pull it out just a tad here. Uh, I've got some batteries, some flat batteries, um, memory cards, little pockets for them, uh, pens, business card holder, just soft cloth, all that stuff that's flat and not likely to really make me worried if it starts getting scrunched. So uh, that's the case in a nutshell. Um, I think it really does give you as much space as you can possibly have for, uh, especially for flights. But I also actually use it uh, if I'm just going to a photo shoot locally, just because most of my stuff's already in there. Very easy to transport. And it will actually fit two bodies one with the uh, 7200 2.8, and then the second one with a slightly smaller lens, um, but with bodies with lenses array on them. So it's just a matter of how it's configured. All right, well, that's it, guys. So that's my review of the, um, uh, of the X200 Low Pro case. I really do like the case. I think uh, they did a great job with it. Um, I think that if you're traveling, this is probably one of the best cases to have. I did have a Tenba large carry-on case, which is the largest version of the Tumba that you can carry on. And uh, while that was a nice case as well, it did have one major defect that I found, which is the laptop uh, pouch, or essentially the area you put the laptop. While in that case, it's actually inside the hard portion of the case, which is a plus, it was right next to a screw. And um, if I didn't look first, I would have had a nice gouge from a, a, a screw top. Essentially, the, the top of the screw is not covered by anything, right in that area where you put the laptop in. As always, you can get more info or, or buy this case 
at the link at the end of the video. And go check out www.lafotolimited.com for more reviews and uh, more information for the traveling photographer. Thanks for watching.